in the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. So I've been asked to talk about inspirational stories about women in Islam. The very first inspirational story is our mother, Khadija, radiallahu ta'ala anha. Honestly, it all resonated with me. Um, I actually can't choose one. I think mainly because, you know, we heard contributions from things, things like, you know, feeling out of place when I was going to sporting events, I think one sister would say, to other things, someone saying, you know, my husband actively encourages me. You know, all of those things I was able to go, you know what, actually, yes. We basically identified at least 42% of social action Muslim that work in the UK led by sisters. I was told because you're a girl you're not allowed to have a bicycle and I've been fighting against things I've been told because you're a girl you're not allowed to do ever since. Just do it. If you're thinking about things that you are passionate about that really matter to you, always believe that if your intentions are there they will be met with real gratitude and you will be able to make those passions come true. Women in leadership positions across the Muslim charity sector, it's one of the biggest things that we have to overcome. In all the stories that I've heard, the unaccompanied children that I've met, is the lack of information that refugees and forcibly displaced people have. I wouldn't be me if I don't open up and talk about the current pain and suffering that we are seeing and experiencing all around the world. I think it's about time the efforts of Muslim women were celebrated publicly. You know, I, I can agree and I can see a younger version of myself and all of them that they were saying, a version of myself now. This initiative emerged from recognising the gap in available safe spaces in sports. We're there, we're leading, but we need space created for us because we still, within the Muslim sector in particular, have leadership which is majority male and a large majority which is not the same in the mainstream. Mainstream still has a lot of work to do, but we have a lot more work to do. Especially women, we have this huge career, we start towards it, and then when we become mothers, we sort of fall off the career ladder. My biggest challenge personally possibly was to mitigate the permissibility of Muslim women working in prison. The foundation has to be cooperation and women working together and supporting each other. And our ambition is to see more women in leadership positions, in programs, on boards, in executive roles, and to see younger women, our sisters, our daughters, inspired to be humanitarians, to do social action, and to really bring the, the blessings of the collective, both to Muslim communities, but also to wider society here in Britain. I thank the Muslim Charities Forum today for helping give a voice to female leaders and highlighting that and also um, empowering us in a way. I thank you all for being here today.